Do you know about the biggest fort in India? After hearing this, you must be curious about which fort I am talking about. So the place of which I am talking is the Chittorgarh Fort, which is located in Rajasthan and is the biggest fort in India. As we get to know it, the mind fills with pride and thrill after listening to the vastness of the fort as well as its architecture and the stories that the fort beholds. Spread in the shape of a fish on a high mountain near the Gambhiri River, this fort is the pride not only of Rajasthan but of the entire country. Spread over an area of about 700 acres at a height of 180 meters, this fort is protected by a strong wall on all sides. So today we are going to talk about the history of this astonishing fort and how you can get here. In the upcoming videos, we will talk about the tourist attractions present in the fort. Let's start the video and learn about the history of Chittorgarh Fort. So let's get into it. The Chittorgarh Fort is also known as Water Fort because earlier there were 84 water sources present here in the form of ponds and step wells out of which only 22 are present now. If we talk about the construction of the fort, it is believed to have been built by Mahabali Bhim. Later in the 17th century, its construction was also linked to the Mauryan dynasty king Chitrangad. For this reason, earlier this fort was known as Chitrakut. This fort remained the capital of Mewar until about 16th century. Many glorious kings have ruled here among whom Rawal Ratan Singh, Maharana Kumbha, Maharana Sangha, Maharana Uday Singh, etc. are prominent. The brave warrior and elegant ruler Maharana Pratap spent most of his life here. The fort has withstood sieges and invasions by Alauddin Khilji of Delhi Sultanate in 1303 AD, Bahadur Shah, ruler of Gujarat in 1534-35 AD, and Mughal Emperor Akbar in 1567-68 AD. During these three attacks, the Rajput warriors lost their life in the battle outside the fort, and the Johar of brave Rajput women took place inside the fort, among which the Johar of Queen Padmavati is world famous. This fort has been a center of religious harmony in which Hindu temples as well as Jain temples were present in abundance. Krishna devotee Mirabai has spent her life in this fort. The story of Pannadhai's sacrifice is also associated with this fort. Due to the religious and historical importance of the fort, as well as the harmonious art and culture, UNESCO declared it a World Heritage Site in 2013. Except for Fateh Prakash Mahal, most of the construction in the fort are from the time before Akbar's invasion, that is about 500 years old. After the attack, due to Udaipur becoming the center of the rulers of Mewar, most of the buildings here have reached a dilapidated state due to a lack of maintenance. Chittorgarh Fort is the largest fort in India. There are many religious and historical places within this fort in an area of several kilometers. The fort is so big that it requires a whole day from morning until evening to see it. But if you do not have this much time, you can see some of the main places of it in 3 to 4 hours. Most tourists, either due to a lack of information or a lack of time, do not see those places that have great importance in history, apart from some major tourist places. Our advice to you is that whenever you go to visit Chittorgarh Fort, go at your leisure and spend the whole day seeing it properly, because this fort holds a very important place in the history of India. As for traveling inside the fort, you need to understand that the Chittorgarh Fort is quite big and spread over an area of several kilometers. You cannot go all around on foot in this fort. You will need a car or a bike to see the entire fort. As you know, the weather in Rajasthan is mostly hot. Hence, apart from the summer season, you can come to visit Chittorgarh Fort anytime. The best time to visit this fort is from September to March. If you go to visit the fort with the information given by us, 
then you won't need any help from a guide or from any other source to see the places in the fort. You will know where to start and what to see next. Moving forward to the gates, the fort is protected by seven huge gates known as poles. These are known as Pardan Pole, Bhairo Pole, Hanuman Pole, Jodala Pole, Ganesh Pole, Lakshman Pole and Ram Pole from bottom to the top respectively. Chittorgarh Fort is situated on a big hill near Chittorgarh city. Chittorgarh city is a district headquarters whose pin code is 312001. Chittorgarh city is connected to big cities like Udaipur, Jaipur, Ajmer, etc. by bus and train. The nearest airport to Chittorgarh is Maharana Pratap Airport, which is situated at a place called Dabok, 20 km before Udaipur on the national highway from Chittor to Udaipur. Both Udaipur and Chittorgarh are well connected by road and train facilities. The distance from Udaipur to Chittorgarh is approximately 110 km. To go from Udaipur to Chittorgarh by roadways, one can go by the national highway via Debari, Dabok, Menar, Mangalwad, Bhatsoda and Rithola. To go from Udaipur to Chittorgarh by train, you can go via Mavli and Kapasan. Jaipur and Chittorgarh both are well connected with each other by both road and train facilities. The distance from Jaipur to Chittorgarh is approximately 350 km. To go from Jaipur to Chittorgarh by bus, one can go by the National Highway via Kishangarh, Nasirabad, Bijanagar, Mandal and Bhilwada. To go from Jaipur to Chittorgarh by train, you can go via Ajmer, Bijanagar and Bhilwada. So that's all for today. I hope you have liked this information. To see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss a video.